Shane, thank you for joining us. Tell us, what communities are most at risk? So uh, the community men who have sex with men are typically the most at risk for having anal sex, uh, which is a high, mode of, high risk mode of transmission. Um, and then IV drug users as well, who share needles with a HIV positive partner. Um, and also those who experience systematic oppression, uh, such as the LGBTQ uh, community. And Shane, what resources are currently available to those living with HIV and AIDS? So there are a ton of resources that are available for those living with HIV and AIDS. Um, you can go to the CDC website to find out about those, hiv.gov. Um, but some of the services included are the Ryan White services. Uh, this is for those who don't have health insurance uh, or can't afford treatment for HIV. There's also patient assistance and expanded access programs. And what that does is cover the cost of medications. And there's also HOPWA, which is an abbreviation for housing opportunities for people living with AIDS. Um, and this helps them secure housing. And we also have organizations like the Bad Cipricine Proud Center, where I work, that tailor our services to HIV prevention and treating HIV. And why is education and care so critical when it comes to ending the HIV and AIDS epidemic? Um, knowledge is power. Education is power. Um, and a lot of the communities affected by HIV typically have educational disparities. Um, and so when we empower them, give them the knowledge to care for their own sexual health or care for um, themselves and advocate for themselves in that way, it enables them to be part of the care process and to help prevent HIV and the spread of HIV. It's interesting because you say knowledge is power, but would you say there are still a lot of people who have HIV and AIDS who are just not aware? Yes, so that is why we push testing. Um, knowing your status is one of the best ways to prevent HIV or I mean to prevent HIV, but also know to get treatment right away for HIV. Um, and this way, when we have testing, we can offer the resources right away to help that person get into treatment. So, you know, having this allows us to cover all our bases with not just education about safer sex behaviors or safer drug use, but also about taking care of ourselves even after HIV has been diagnosed. I mean, are there still also a lot of people who just don't have access to prevention care and treatment? Yes, absolutely. Structural uh, inequities and systemic racism make it very difficult for some people to access health care. And why would you say these inequities and barriers still exist? Um, because the effects are everlasting. They go through generations. So even things like redlining, which you know was used to segregate residential areas at, in the past, has, still has effects to this day. Um, and that still makes it difficult for people to access health care or be in areas where they're able to get to health care um, or even afford health care. Uh, and so if you can't access those resources, it's very difficult for you to know your status or to understand the ways that HIV is transmissible. Shane, what have been the medical advances in treating HIV? So for treatment for HIV, there is antiretroviral therapy which used to be a cocktail combination of drugs, but now it is usually just a one to two pill regimen a day. Um, and what this does is this medication stops the virus from rapidly replicating and spreading through the body. And it helps keep your CD4 cell count high, which is your immune system's fighter cells. So that way we can suppress the viral load. And even to that point, when we suppress the viral load enough, if your viral load is undetectable, it is therefore untransmissible, which means you cannot effectively transmit the virus. Uh, and that's a huge medical advancement. Shane, are we closer to a cure? We are, we are getting there slowly but surely. Um, and beyond a cure, you know, having people who live with HIV live long and healthy lives is one of the best advances that we've made because people can and still do live long and healthy lives with HIV. Shane, thank you for joining us. Just another reminder to know your status and get tested. Absolutely. Thank you so much for having me.